see, as I was saying, like, you know, if we want, we could view this as divorced parents being in the same place for the first time in a long time. Um, yeah. If we want. Or it could be viewed as a celebration of what was. Um, you know, if you're the Patriots, if you're Patriot Nation. That's why I'm like, welcome Brady back. Cheer for Brady. Root for your team. But it doesn't have to be some kind of a, you know, look back at why things ended the way they did. As, as a wise person once said, everything ends badly. Otherwise, it wouldn't end. And so, <laughs> you know, it was, it was going to end sooner or later. Right. Uh, it did. Right. And while they were together, you got six championships and nine trips to the Super Bowl. Um, an unprecedented run of dominance. And so, like, this doesn't necessarily have to be tense, is what I'm getting at. If we want to, you know, stick with the relationship theme, this that, you know, it, it, it doesn't have to be weird. It doesn't have to be tense. Nonetheless, it will be emotional because it's going to be odd, right. weird in a different sense, to see Tom Brady return to Gillette Stadium in a different uniform, and I get all of that. Um, so I, I, I guess my question is, what is the significance of this game? We know we know the subtext. We know the we know the the context yeah. of the game, right? It's obvious. But what's the significance of this game? In other words, we talked about for a while looking ahead. We've been looking at to this game, you know, since Brady went to Tampa. You know, we've been looking at it since last year. Um, how much, if at all, does it matter to each of these individuals? And if so, to whom does it matter more? All right, listen, I'm going to I'm going to answer that question. Uh, I'm going to answer that question on the front end and on the back end. I'll just say that for those who don't know Boston, old school Boston, it used to be said that the two uh, biggest pastimes that the two biggest sports in Boston were politics and revenge. And there are politics and revenge involved in the Tom Brady Bill Belichick story. No question. So that that's what that's what this game is about. This game is about revenge. It's, it's revenge from Tom Brady's perspective. Oh, you didn't want me. You try to get me out. Is it after my 2013 season? You brought in Jimmy Garoppolo. You did all this stuff to me. You doubted me. You brought up my age and contract status on the day that you drafted Jimmy Garoppolo. You wanted him to be the next one. But hey, he lost. You brought him in. He got out before I did. I'm still doing my thing at 44 and you question me when I was 36. So that's what it's about. And for Tom and, and for Bill Belichick, it's about, hey, I got to justify the decision that I made. Yes, I made a tough decision, but I can be a championship coach still even without Tom Brady. It's not like he wanted to prove when Brady was there that he wanted to win, that he wanted he could be a champion without him. But now that Brady's gone, he needs to show people that, hey, I still got it. So, I mean, I think that's part you know of what? it. But you know what? Here's hold, the other thing, Mike. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ahead, hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. Go ahead. Let me get in here. Let me get in here. Before, before you go to the other thing, because I don't want to come back to this. Yeah. Let me get in here. Everything you just said is BS. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> if you play the stuff that the people like, the people will come. Okay? No. Um, but, but, no but seriously, all jokes aside. Michael, I, I was thinking about this, and this is why this, what I just asked you was a trick question. I don't think it's that significant to either of them. And maybe I'm naive. Maybe I'm full of it. I don't think it's that significant yeah. to either of them. I think it's I think for Brady, it's going to be emotional. But the answer to the answer to my own question is to whom does it matter more? The answer is neither. And here's why I say that. I'll tell you why I say that. Okay. You're wrong. I told you earlier, Without, I gave credit to maybe. you earlier. When you were right, maybe, but let me, but let me, but I can let me tell you right now, no matter what you say. And I, and listen, you're wrong. I could be, I could be, but let me explain to you my thinking. Let me explain to you my thought. I know you are, but go ahead. So, without getting too deep or into too too far detail, um, I once had a friend tell me that part of the reason I was uh, bitter, because revenge is rooted in bitterness, right? Part of the reason that I was bitter was because I wasn't satisfied with where I was. Um, bitter about a previous relationship because I wasn't happy in my next relationship or bitter about a previous set of circumstances and the way something happened because right. I wasn't happy about where I was afterward, right? So 
I think about that and I say, if you're Tom Brady, and okay, they thought you were done. And we know he doesn't, far be it from Tom Brady to seek out motivation, right? They thought he was done. They wouldn't give him the contract that he wanted until age 45. Yada, 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 right? But at the end of the day, and Belichick said this the other day, the better option for him financially, circumstantially, uh, situationally, whatever you want to call it, was Tampa. And last year, and so far this year, bore that out. The alternative logic. was to re-sign in New England and wait for it, continue to be miserable. So, yes, he wants it both ways, Brady does. Yes, he wanted them to respect him enough right. to give him the contract he wanted and let him finish his career there because he earned that, right? But by the same token, yeah. he wasn't happy in that relationship. Now he's on the bigger and better. That's him. Tom Brady moving on was so devastating to Bill Belichick that Bill Belichick, for whatever reason, didn't see him in person on the way out. He said, hey, man, you're the best to ever do it. Good luck. Moving on. You and I both know that there is not an ounce of sentimentality in Bill Belichick. And lastly, before I give it back to you, Michael, I'll say this. This is the one time, the one time, again, I'm not saying it's not an emotional game. I'm talking about the significance of it. It's more significant to us than it is to them. It's more significant to media. It's more significant to fans. The storylines are more significant than the actual game because, okay, this is how I know I'm right. And you're going to have to quote Bill Belichick or Tom Brady to tell me I'm wrong. Neither of these individuals, okay. neither of these, these individuals is in the business of winning week four games. Now, I know that runs counter to everything we're doing here at NBC Sports and Peacock. I'm supposed that's to talk great. this game up like it is a Super Bowl, but guess what? It no, no, ain't. No, I, I and Bill you. Belichick has got bigger fish to fry than revenge against Tom Brady. Or Because even if he wins this game, that doesn't prove Jack. It was still a mistake. Yes. It was obviously a mistake. Right. There is no debating right. that it right. was a mistake. But he right. made the decision right. and he moved on. If Brady wins this game, what does it prove? Uh, so he's the he's he's more the greatest than he already was. There's neither of these people have anything to prove, least of all to Amen. each other. So point being, this game is significant for us. It is fantastic theater and nothing more. This is the first time in my my life covering sports where I actually believe what somebody says where they say, you know what, this is a football game because at the end of the day, that's all it is. Guarantee you, Belichick is not worried about trying to prove something to Tom Brady. Because Belichick will win this game and still go 79 to your point. Tom Brady ain't worried about trying to prove nothing to Bill Belichick. He's already done that. He won the championship. And if he wins this game, there's no guarantee he wins number eight. This is nothing hey, but yeah. a family reunion where you're trying to show up looking your best, and that's a wrap. It's fun. It's theater. There's no greater significance than that. This is not some uh, referendum on either of these individuals and their legacy. That's why I say it, does, it doesn't matter to either of them. It matters more to us than it does to them. Okay. Um, you're wrong. Did that go <laughs> like wrong. you thought it would? And I, did that, did I'll that tell go like you, you thought it would? <laughs> no, no, it didn't, but, but you're wrong. But I, I'll tell you why. I'll, t I'll, make this, I'll make this brief. You're wrong because you have underestimated the pettiness factor that both of these guys have. Yes, they will tell you that we, you don't win championships in week four. Bill Belichick, when they've been nine and zero a couple of times, he said that doesn't get you anything. Doesn't get you into the playoffs. Nine wins, we can we can lose the rest of our games, and what have we done? So they say that publicly, but this is also a head coach who has beaten the New York Jets eleven times in a row, and you check the quotes. Every time he beats the Jets, most of the time he says it's always good to beat the Jets. Why does he say that? He can't stand mm -hmm. the Jets. He hates. Now the he's Jets. in a better place. He still I hates the you. Jets. He still. Because they left. No doubt. He resigned as HC of the NYJ. He still False equivalency. hating on them. False equivalency. He, but, but I'm that's saying, a division that, rival. It's not, I, that's not no, no, the no, same no, league. No, no. Ain't the same ballpark. Not, ain't I, the same freaking sport. You're not listening to me. You're not listening. I didn't say I'm it's hearing you. I'm telling you as I'm an example you. of how petty mm -hmm. he can be and how petty Tom Brady mm -hmm. can be. Tom Brady Sr. You and I know it was firsthand. emotional, was emotional mm -hmm. last week. He got a note from his son saying, Dad, what are you doing? What are you right. doing? Because it's still raw 
for not just Tom Brady, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Sr., but also Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. But look, look I just want to say this. I'm going to say this. We can go back and forth on the significance. I know it's significant to both guys. I know it. I know that. I know that. I know. I know it's significant to both of them. I know that. But I'll tell yeah, you. I think you're assuming. One thing. No, 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 I'm not. I, I know it for a fact. I would. I, I'd bet. I'd bet all of your money and half of mine. I'm, I'm that not. I'm wait. Right. Hold on. I'm not saying just just for clarity. I'm not saying it's completely insignificant. I said it was emotional. I said it was going to be emotional, but I'm telling you that this game is not something where somebody's going to be. They're not getting a trophy for it. They're not getting an axe. So they're not getting a boot. They're, this is not a rivalry game. They're not. Get, they're not. They're not. After the game, Brady is not going to be able to say "told you so" because he did that last year. What they both year. have, what they both have, is people uh, like little uh, uh, sycophants on both sides. Just chirping in the air, chirping in the air about the other one, chirping, 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 and they believe it, and they believe it. They they like that. They do. They they, they like having like an audience that's all on them. They're like, hey, you're great. He's wrong. He shouldn't have let you go. Hey, you're fine without him. It was about time anyway. His ego was out of control. Time changed. Bill changed. Back and forth. Ba 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 ba. Lots of chatter. But I'll just say this. Uh, just on another note, and I want to say this. Because it's just interesting to me when you look at this uh, Brady Belichick relationship when you hear people talk about it and Robert Kraft is like this too. Robert Kraft says hey he was nothing essentially he was nothing before Cleveland. Look what he was in Cleveland. He was 14 games under 500 uh, four losing seasons in five years made the playoffs one time in Cleveland. I rescued him and then you hear some people say hey Bill Belichick was nothing without Tom Brady. Look at his record without Tom Brady those people Michael kind of missed the point. There should be an inspirational story there. And what they what they choose right. to do is look at some and look at something negative. And people do this all the time. They do it all the time. I remember when the Red Sox won in 04, there were people saying, "Hey, Theo Epstein won with Dan Duquette's players." So what? That all that all that tells you is that you're just one step away from greatness. Sometimes you're yeah. one closer away, one pitcher away, one quarterback away, one break away. There's somebody out there with a business plan. Hey, your business plan is one step away from greatness. You've you've experienced mediocrity and, and disappointment. You're one step away. But instead we say, well, you were nothing until that guy came in. So, so what? Hey, in other words, somebody else had them. They couldn't get championships, but I did. I, I just, I just think the whole, the whole framing of it overall, I just think speaks now that does speak to our projections and it speaks to our, our Thank world you. view because because let me ask you I, this. I do let me ask you this. Let me ask you this Belichick expert. Do you think Belichick do you think in his heart of hearts deep down in places he doesn't talk about at parties. Do you think Belichick regrets regrets letting Tom Brady go? No. No. Do you think Tom Brady is happier now and knows that he's happier now happier now than he would have happier been now. It, it then he would have been in New England for another couple of years. Yes. Do you think Brady knows I think that? He's happier now. So look. Exactly. Okay. So but even the though, outcome of this game can still be satisfying for either victorious party. I give you that. It could be very satisfying for right. all the obvious reasons. I'm talking about like this game doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things for them because the grand scheme of things for them is a singular focus on one objective. Belichick ain't looking back. Brady ain't looking back. There could still be no love loss and a desire to beat the other one from a competitive standpoint, but we are building this game up to be more. It's the biggest regular season game I've ever seen. Most of us have ever seen right. the hype is the hype is real and it's legitimate, but it's the theater more than it is the significance because nothing's on the line other than Satis brief satisfaction, but that ain't what they in it for. Belichick and in it to beat Brady in week four, and Brady and in it to beat Belichick in week four. Not in it for that. He's not in it for that, but that is still like a little victory. Just like, okay, can, hey, tell yeah, me if this can, is a false. They'll equivalent. smile, they'll enjoy it. Tell me if this is false. When Belichick faced Bill Parcells for the first time after leaving yep. New York. And at times yep. being browbeat by Bill Parcells as a member of the Jets, yes. and as a member of the Patriots, and as a member of the Giants. He had a lot of history with Bill Parcells. And so when he beat him, shut him out, 
the first time they faced each or other even Mangini. post New York. Or even Mangini. It we mentioned Mangini. Meant any, of his, any, any of his apprentices. It was satisfying. Now, it was early in the season. They it wasn't a playoff game. They win no championships. It was satisfying. satisfying. Because it's like I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Deeply satisfying. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Like, satisfying. Oh, I got that. But it, but, oh, but it, but it. What was that word? What was that Which word one? you used uh, 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 at the beginning of a uh, couple couple weeks ago? You had you were dropping a, a certain word that can be used in many ways. Bernie Mac popularized it. In Kings oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bill yeah. Belichick. Yeah, no. Or Tom Brady. No, it is. After the game, it is. Say, oh, I beat that. Mm -hmm. I, I but beat when, I beat but that. When, but when Belichick goes back to his office, he's not going to be like, yeah, see, that just shows I did the right thing because I beat him tonight. Or you know what? I'm good. And Brady's not going to be like, yeah, see, you were wrong. Again, because the question's already been answered. Dude went and won the Super Bowl the first what? year after. It was so obviously a mistake. It's not even a debate whether it was the right move. You dealing with two snipers. You dealing with yeah. two snipers, ultra competitive. My, ultra my competitive. point is, they wired differently in ways that I don't know that we could relate to. But maybe I'm overstating their, you know, maybe I'm over, maybe I'm naive, maybe I'm overstating it. Hey, thanks for watching, brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us three to five p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.